We're gonna cover one of two applications of differential calculus. This one is finding equations of the tangents. This example here says determine the equation of the tangent to the graph, and we've got a function there, y equals x plus two times by x minus one squared at the point when x is equal to zero. So let's just have a look at this function on a graph. And we wanna find the equation at the point when x is equal to zero. So we need to find out where is that gonna lie on the graph and what is this tangent gonna look like? So just so we can get a little bit of an idea before we head off into solving the math. The first step that we wanna to do to find the equation of the tangent is to differentiate the function itself. This is so that we can establish gradient values. So we're gonna do that for this function here. I notice it's a product of two functions, so I'm gonna to have to use the product rule to differentiate it. Here to differentiate this function v, I'm just gonna use the fast chain rule. So that, again, two comes down the power. In here stays the same to the power of two minus one, which is gonna be one, I'm not gonna write that, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is just one. So I'm probably not gonna write that, just because it doesn't change anything. So now I've got everything I need to find out what the derivative is gonna be. So here I'm just, I'm gonna simplify this function down a little bit so it's easy to evaluate some things. And again, just as a gentle reminder, x minus one squared is equal to x minus one, x minus one, which we know is just x squared minus two x plus one. Okay, great. So we have found the derivative just by, again, I've just simplified and collected like terms and just, you know, just refactorized just to make the expression for the derivative function a nice and simplified. So great, that's step number one. Uh, step number two is to find out the gradient of this tangent line. And we remember that corresponding y values on the derivative function are gonna tell me the gradient of the original function. So that means I evaluate, I evaluate this function at x equals zero. That's gonna tell me what m is equal to. Okay, so that's step number two is to find the value of that gradient there. We can see it is equal to negative three. Our third step is to then find what is the coordinate point at this um, x point of x being equal to zero and the way that we're gonna find the corresponding y value is two put that x value back into our original function just to determine what the corresponding y value would be. So then we look back to our original function, which is this guy right up here. And I ask, what is the y value when x is equal to zero? So I'm just gonna rewrite it out. Okay, by the way, here was step one to find the derivative. Here is step two to find the value of the gradient. Here's step three to determine the y value. And so we can determine the coordinate point being x equal to zero, y equal to two. Final step here is to determine the equation of our tangent line. We're just gonna use a spin-off of y equals mx plus c here, which is the gradient point form, where we say y naught, y minus y naught is equal to m outside of x minus x naught. This is just to find the equation of the tangent. Alternatively, you could use, you could use y equals mx plus c. and you will get the same results. You can try it out for yourself. In fact, I might actually do it in a green over to the side. So we've got y minus y naught, which is, well, this is x naught, that's y naught there. So that's minus two. Outside of m, which we saw was negative three, that's what we found in this step here. x, minus x naught, which is zero. And then I can simplify this out. Okay. 
And then we just write a little concluding statement to say, look, we've found our equation of the tangent, which is y equals negative three x plus two uh, at the point x being equal to zero. Now, if we were to go one step further, maybe a question might ask, what is the equation of the normal? Okay, of the normal line. And the normal line is just the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line. And so we know that that gradient of that line is just gonna be the negative reciprocal of our tangent line. And you're gonna use the same x, y point. Okay, just to show that you can use the y plus mx plus c method if you like, you know, substitute and find c and then state the equation. Both gonna work.